Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon to all. Okay, so um, how are you? Okay, I hope that uh, everybody is uh, okay. Uh, okay, so today um, we will discuss on the next topic, okay, which is REITs. Okay, what is REIT? REIT is a real estate investment trust. Or we call it REITs. And then rates, we have a conventional rates and we have Islamic rate. Uh, so it is a similar with the investment uh, instrument, which in Malaysia we have, uh, because, because of dual system, we have a conventional products or investment and also we have Islamic products. So rates also, we have Islamic rates and also the conventional rate. Okay, so we will discuss on the differences between these two later on. Okay, okay so now let's move. Uh, what is real estate? Okay, basically in the real estate investment, uh, the, the main key asset is the property itself, the physical property. And previously we have discussed on the, uh, the property price, Okay, how to uh, measure the return from investment on property. So we only concerns on the physical property. Okay, so now, okay, uh, using the rates, uh, the investor basically uh, doesn't need to uh, involve with a property uh, physical investment. So they just uh, make a portion of the investment. So the fund, the manager of rates will then invest the fund collected from the invest, uh, investors. Okay, and then to invest into a portfolio of uh, property. Rates lah. So rates is like a uh, unit trust, uh, unit trust investment. Okay, unit trust is like portfolio investment. Can it consists of variety types of investment instrument, which is to reduce um a risk uh, and also to to increase the pro, pro, uh, profit. Okay, so unit trust doesn't need uh does not compulsory to invest into property. Uh, but rates is a uh, unit trust that concern on property investment only. Okay, there are projects run by the managers. They have varieties of project, and this project involve with property investment. Okay. Okay, so uh, this one typically before rates were introduced, an investor may invest in property stocks or physical or landed property. Okay. Uh, to get exposure in the real estate sector, okay, uh, you can touch the property. Now, using a certificate, we invest a portion of the project, but the project must involve a property, lah, property development, okay, like a, a hospital, okay. So, investors now have an option to invest in REITs by paying only a fraction of the real estate prices, okay, not only... Uh, not the whole uh, amount of uh, or the price of the property, but only portions. If the property uh, price about one million, so the investor have options to invest only maybe uh, uh, one thousand ringgit or one hundred ringgit based on their preference. Okay, only portions. Okay. And then uh, rates provide a way to invest in quality, large scale commercial real estate without having to buy the properties directly. Okay, uh, dah tak perlu dah. Okay, no need to buy a real estate, the physical one. But we still can invest into real estate, but we just give a, a fractions or portions of the, the, the property price. Okay, we give money, we invest money, and then the projects will be run by the, the properties manager. Okay, so rates typically offer a stable income stream and attractive distributions yield. So what types of income the investor will um, uh, will have when invest into REIT. So there are a, a stable income, they will receive a, a, a profit, okay, uh, and then they will also uh, receive um, a, a amount of uh, the increase of value of the, the real estate that it involves. Okay, so REIT must uh, comply with the requirements of the guidelines on listed real estate investment trusts by the Capital Market and Services Act 2007 for listing on uh, 
Bursa Malaysia. Okay, so rates basically under Bursa Malaysia and then in Malaysia for the capital market investment, it's considered as capital market investment that we provide a capital for the fund manager. Eh? So it's considered under uh, capital market. So in Malaysia, who actually govern or control the capital market and the central bank, which is a securities commission, SC, securities commission. Okay. Okay, so rates is listed in Bursa Malaysia. So Bursa Malaysia need to uh, follow all the guidelines uh, related to the capital market provided by Securities Commission. Okay, so all rates seeking listing on Bursa Malaysia will require Securities Commission's approval. Okay, so SC will approve if the company wanted to list uh, list down upper uh, list the. Uh, or their, their investment in the into uh, at Bursa Malaysia. Okay, so under Section two hundred twelve of the Capital Market Services Act two thousand seven. Okay, uh, so we have a capital market and we have money market. Okay, in Malaysia, so money market basically is a bank. Okay, and capital market is an investment company. Okay, or investment bank. Okay, so for the for the bank. They have to follow the Financial Services Act or Islamic Financial Services Act 2013. Uh, but for rates, because it is under capital market, they should follow Capital Market Services Act 2007. Okay. So a real asset investment trust, uh, it is a trust like its portfolio, not only one project of a real estate, but consists of many projects. Okay, it's a fund or trust. If we say it is trust, they must have a trustee. Okay, that owns and manage income producing commercial real estate like a shopping complex, hospital, the plantations, industrial properties, hotels, and office blocks. Okay, uh, so this fund become this fund manager they become a trustee lah. They they are entrusted by the investor to run this project. Eh? Uh, so it, it must involve a real estate, basically made for commercial real estate lah because large scale of investment. Okay, so a management company for a rate is permitted to deduct distribution paid to its shareholders from its corporate uh, taxable uh, income. Okay, uh, so the the company basically they will get they will have to pay income and uh, they have to pay uh, a return of the investment so they can deduct lah uh, all the the returns uh, that they give okay, to the investor from their taxable income. Okay, so to enjoy this tax free status, so the rates must have most of its asset and income tied to the real estate and distribute at least 90% of its total income to investors or unit holders annually. So unit trust point like a unit trust AS vehicle, we will get a profit and dividend. Then. So rate one at the dividend, it is annual dividend and not a monthly dividend, so annual dividend. So uh, this uh, because... Uh, let's say this uh, REITS company, they not only uh, invest, they not only uh, uh, run uh, REITS, but they have their own uh, business, okay? So, in order for them to to enjoy the the free tax status, maksudnya the, the taxable income, so the uh, deducts all the, uh, the, uh, the taxable income too, so they have to distribute 90% of its total income to investor. Uh, income from the rates lah investment tu okay 90% so yeah 90% lah most almost all the income they they receive from the rates investment they have to distribute so they can deduct from their tax income okay okay so this is a summary of rates basically we have investor we are investor okay, investor can be individual or company investors Okay, and then they will have an asset or the property. Okay, uh, so the investor, they invest in shares. Okay, and then the acquisitions and or, uh, and or capital investment. This uh, money, the investor's money will uh, be invested into the real estate, commercial, uh, commercial real estate. And then the rental income or the interest payment or any income from this will be distributed to the investors.
ni uh, nanti ada on you will be a detail on this framework okay so what are the benefits of investing in listed rate rates okay uh, so other than uh, maybe it is a high risk to buy a property to buy house let's say uh, and then to to generate income from it so we can also prefer rates for investment okay so it is affordability uh, dia macam dia jual satu shares tu one ringgit, two ringgit, okay. Uh, uh, rather than we buy house 500k. So, we can also choose to invest into rate by having uh, 1,000 ringgit, 500 ringgit because it is affordable, the price, okay, based on the the shares price lah that offered by the manager, okay. So, investment in rates cost uh, fractions of the cost of direct investment in real estate because dia dah, dah divide dah, a fraction lah, okay, uh, dibagi di antara investor tu. So, you can start off with minimal investment out of it. So, in terms of the liquidity, so rates are more liquid compared to physical properties. What is liquidity? So, liquidity basically it's measures of uh, how easy we change our, uh, we change some things into a money, monetary. Okay, like say uh, handphone. We have handphone and then is it easy for us to sell handphone? So, it depends on the handphone brand, uh, brand kan? Uh, so, the liquidity of handphone and liquidity of house, uh, which which is more liquid. Which, uh, so, I think for sure handphone because handphone, the, the price of handphone is cheaper than the price of house kan? So, people will, because people use it regularly, daily handphone okay so rates also it is more liquid than the, the property physical property itself uh, because of to get a uh, profit or to get money uh, by selling the property maybe we need to uh, have about uh, six months to one year to get the money okay uh, liquid, eh? uh, but uh, for the rates if you want to sell it we can sell it today and we can get the return if you want to do to, to wait more return then just uh, no need to uh, to wait until uh, a long time lah, eh? uh, so rates are more liquid than physical properties physical properties need to go uh, quite complicated process we need to maybe we need to have agent agent need to market the property acceptance uh, website ke kan uh, so and then need to wait and then the customer the, the future buyers we need to to uh, do survey and then we need to visit the house first look at the the conditions of the house and then before they make their mind kan so it will need a time but rates if we uh, decide to sell our uh, rate certificate so we can do that just to Okay, so stable income stream, stable incomes because uh, the fund manager, which is expert, they will manage the rate uh, investment uh, portfolio. Uh, so they will give us uh, incomes, uh, stable uh, every year. Okay, uh, rates tend to pay up uh, steady income similar to dividends. Macam uh, unit trust, okay, which are derived from existing rents paid by the tenants who occupy the rents properties like a shopping complex and banyak shop lot, kan? So, the the, the profit from the, the rental profit will be distributed to the uh, rent investors, okay? So, exposure to large-scale real estate, it is large-scale lah, shopping complex, other hospital, okay? Uh, so, kalau uh, the physical... Uh, uh, real estate uh, only house then house one shop lot okay not not large scale lah. so you can derive benefits of the real estate on a pro rate basis through a VA so professional management you benefit from having the rates and its underlying assets managed by the professionals who will add value for a higher VA uh, kalau kita biasa dengan uh, real estate investment pun, we can just uh, give a money, invest and then they will manage the investment on, on behalf of us. Okay. So, what does a rate represent? Okay, so it represents equity ownership. 
even though we just uh, uh, invest a fraction of the the ownerships, we just a po give a portion of the the price of the property, but we actually own the the property equity ownership. Eh? So and then indirect access to large stable estate portfolio in a tax efficient uh, manner. Okay, uh, so we can uh, we can to lah uh, we can have experience. Uh, to uh, to access to a large stable estate portfolio indirectly lah indirectly okay so tax efficiency investors are only taxed once uh, investors are only taxed one when we uh, wanted to sell the, the rate certificate so uh, the profit from the investment so it is taxable lah okay no need to pay um um uh, uh, regular tax okay and then high corporate governance so rates are governed by a trustee as well as the stock exchange and the securities commission's regulations so, so don't worry okay so which define the operating procedures and ensure a high level of uh, corporate governance okay? because they have uh, uh, for the later on i will share with you example of rates that we have in malaysia they have a uh, a uh, board of director, they have a CEO, okay, they have a board of trustee, and then for the Islamic grade, they have a Sharia advisor that advise the investment. Yeah. So, how to invest and where to buy rates? So, similar to trading in stocks, you will be required to have a central deep repository system CDS account and a trading account maintained with a broker. So this account basically at, at Bursa, under Bursa Malaysia lah. You can go to Bursa Malaysia website so you can create your own account. Okay? And then you may buy or sell uh, rates in the ETF through your broker, remiser or via online trading during trading hours. It depends on us. If we are already expert in the investment, stock investment, just like stock investment, so we can do it ourselves. But if you do not uh, know about it, then we can uh, have a broker or a miser. Okay. Then what do I have to pay when buying and selling rates? Like a buying and selling stocks, investors need to pay brokerage commissions stamp duty, clearing fees and GST where applicable. Adalah certain, certain fees that they already fix. Eh? So what is unit holder rights? What is our right as investor? Okay, right investor. So the key rights as a unit holders includes right to receive income, okay, and other distributions, uh, right to receive income. We, have, uh, we can receive income uh, yearly, dividend and other distributions attributable to the unit's health, receive the funds report of operates. Okay, uh, if they want to give more uh, profit and or additional uh, profit, then we can have it also. And participate in the terminations operate by receiving a share of all net cash proceeds derived from the realizations of the asset of rate, less any liabilities in accordance with their proportionate interest in rates. In case of this rate is um, wanted to be terminated by the manager, so we have right to receive a net cash proceeds. Uh, we have right to receive it. Okay, okay because uh, we are considered as um, owner. Okay, owner. Okay, what are the risks involved when investing rates? Uh, so, apa risiko ni? So, returns are not guaranteed because it is investment. So, dividend is not guaranteed like uh, ASP. So, and then the rate of return also is not guaranteed. Maybe last year they give us 10% and this year because of the performance of the, the investment, okay, the rental income is not... Um, um, Number dia, uh, reduce in uh, for the rental income, so maybe they just give a five percent. So it is not guaranteed. In, no, in, no guarantee in the investment. Okay, what investors uh, will know. Eh? So the total returns of rate is subject to the performance of the property. Uh, so hence the unit price of rate may go down if its underlying properties drop in. Value. Kalau property tu 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 drop, jadi something happen to the the shopping mall. Uh, so the punya shares pun akan drop down because of the it will affect uh, it will affected by the the value of the property yeah? and then loss of control over investment so we do not have control over investment so investors will not have direct control 
overday management companies in most musicians like when to buy or sell certain real estates or how they will be managed okay, we only can control the portions that uh, of our investment lah to buy to to sell the certificate portions not the whole property okay and then market factors rates are also subject to market demand and supply as such market fluctuations confidence in the economy and changes in the interest rates may affect real rates and the price okay? so what are the investment considerations so apart from the general market risk of economy politics capital market and interest rate you should be aware of the following this one eh? uh, so before we invest into rates so management quality and the corporate structure of the Rates. In particular, the rates manager, lah. we have to investigate the company, the background of the company, who are there, whether they have they have known uh, before this, okay? and then uh, the reputations of the company, and then investment objective and strategy of the, of the rates. Okay? Investment objective and strategy of the rates. So everything should be disclosed like in the website. Eh? So quality of the real estate, what types of real estate portfolio that they will uh, invest. So they have to uh, inform the investor. So including factors such as mortgage, occupancy rates and ge geographical location. Okay? Uh, so for the Islamic rate, they should disclose uh, whether the property will involve uh, sharia or non-sharia uh, activities or not. Okay. So distributions policy and tax rule lah. okay. Then rates uh, and property companies. So what's the difference between these two? Okay, for the rates, the earning in terms of earning the incomes, a rate is driven by a recurring rental income. Basically, it's rental income so of the, the the commercial real estate. And then the properties company, a property company seeks a combination of property sales, development, profits, rental, incomes, and property investment. Uh, many other things uh, that uh, actually uh, uh, directly uh, related to the physical asset. And then capital structure and cash flow of rates. A rate has low and defined level of return. Earnings, lower debts level defined by the regulators and strong cash flow from operations. And then the property companies, a property stock has a high gearing ratio due to high capital expenditure required for property development and sometimes negative cash flow and low dividend payout. This one in terms of if the company has become a developer, okay, they develop a property, they sell the property. Okay, what are the, the, the capital structure and the cash flow? Okay, so properties company will involve a, a risky cash flow and uh, capital structure lah compared to rates. So dividend distributions, a rate will di will distribute 90% or 200 percent of its return earnings. Okay. Okay, sorry, okay. So whatever they earn from the rental income, they will distribute to the investor. So a property stock has no certainty of a dividend payout. No dividend lah. Kalau property tu kan, they just have a uh, apa namanya profit from the gain from the capital that they invested to build a, a house or commercial property scheme. Okay. And then risk profile. Okay, risk profile. A rate is low risk. Okay, passive investment vehicle. Passive, yeah, income can jual beli, jual beli. We just wait for the rental income with a high certainty of cash flow. High certainty, maksudnya kalau rental tu, they have agreement lah, rent for 5 years. Okay, rental income they will receive for 10 years. Okay, uh, so a property stock has a high development and financial risk. Okay, so corporate governance rates are governed by multiple layers of stakeholders, unit holders, managers, trustees, regulating authorities ensuring the interests of minority holders are protected. They are in control. Okay? And then a property stock is often dominated by a controlling shareholders which raises conflict of interest issues with minority shareholders. Okay? So large rates are actively managed. Okay? Vertically integrated firms providing commercial real estate goods and services for the customer, tenant, and users of space. So, vertical integration, which is land acquisitions, developments, ownerships, and then ownership, financial capital, and then operations, and then the tenants. Okay. So, uh, operate structure, and then we need for data rates. Basically, it's coming from public investor, 
income stockholder are the private investor partnership unit holders, company, KP company. They will collect a rates or investment fund. So umbrella partnership, the operating partnership, they will uh, invest into portfolio of property. Property Y, new X, Y, Z, many types of property. They, give, they do a partnership okay, using the investment fund that they receive from the investors. Okay. So what kinds of returns can be expected from rates? Typically, the returns to unit holders of a rate can be in the form of income distributions based on the distribution policy, income, la, rental income, and then capital gain which may arise from appreciations of the rate, price capital gain. Kalau, uh, because maybe uh, in 2000s, you buy one unit of rates uh, worth one ringgit and then in 2021, it becomes five ringgit per unit. So, you already gain four ringgit per unit. So, okay, so capital gains. Okay, on top of the dividend that you will receive uh, yearly. Okay. So what are the performance indicators of rates? So what are the performance indicators of rate? Distribution yield, the yield, the dividend. Okay. So the yield is normally published in the business sections of major daily newspaper. So it is derived from the following formula. Lah. So distribution yield uh, equal to income distribution paid to a rate unit holder and divided by rate's price paid by the unit holder. Okay, so other indicators include the following which I will have in the no report. Net asset value, management expense ratio and total return. The change in a rate's price for the period under review plus any income distribution received during the Okay, but for the investor, they just uh, concerned on the two things, like the dividend that they receive and also the value of rates, okay, the current value of rates, okay, whether it's in, uh, is, uh, uh, increasing or decreasing. So, uh, these are list of rates, okay, example, rates market capital 500 million and above. So, these are rates, um, this one both like conventional and Islamic rates. Okay, we have KLCCP, Staple Group. So the market capitalizations, the capital, and the investment fund that they receive, uh, 13 billion closing price, price of rates, okay, and then it ringgit and then a decline. Declining percentage, kalau macam ni positive, they incline lah maksudnya. Gross distribution yield, 4.68. Okay, 4.68. So, among these, siapa yang paling tinggi? Yang bawah ni, 7.98 ringgit UOA rates. Okay. So, now, uh, we will discuss two types of rates. Okay, two types of investment lah. Okay, we have a conventional investment and we have Islamic investment. For sure, Islamic investment, you have to ensure all uh, the the process and then the properties, the rate they involve is comply with the Sharia, meaning that they run a business that do not opposite to the law lah, like Islam, they, they, they prohibit any gambling activities, they prohibit any uh, liquor activities, okay, uh, so the issuance of rate guideline by the Securities Commission, okay, um, start the rate industry in Malaysia, subsequently the SC released the guideline for Islamic real estate investment. Okay, uh, so SC also have provided the uh, Islam the guideline for Islamic rates, high rates. So Malaysia is the first is first jurisdiction jurisdiction in the global financial sector to issue high rates. Okay, guideline, I like uh, high rate guideline in two thousand five. It set the global benchmark for the development of Islamic rates. Okay. So, Islamic rate guidelines provide clear guidance on new investment opportunities in collective real estate investment through a Sharia compliant capital market instrument. Okay. So, what is I rate? So, compared to the conventional one, conventional they can invest into any type of activities. Activities means that any activities run by the property, lah, okay, uh, the real estate. So, compared to the conventional, Islamic rate must be from Sharia permissible activities. Kalau uh, they want to build a um, uh, shopping mall, okay, that shopping mall cannot 100% run the prohibited activities, run a gambling activities, the whole buildings, no, they cannot. 
okay uh, there there is a cut point that if they want to have a mixture of activities like a few of the shop dog uh sell a liquor so on uh, the 20% cut off okay so the return uh, from the rental returns must be uh, below uh, 20% Maximum is 20% lah from the non-compliant activities, non-sharia activities. They can have a mixture, but 20% of return, uh, the maximum 20% return uh, for the non-sharia activities lah. Okay. This one, in case of mixed activities, must adhere to the 20% benchmark as determined by the SSC of Sharia Securities Commission. So, the activities below are deemed sharia non-permissible. Financial services based on riba. Okay, the conventional bank. Okay, if the the shopping mall having a, a bank inside, so um, uh, it's already uh, non permissible activities. But uh, they must follow the twenty percent benchmark. And then gambling, manufacture or sale of non halal products or related product, conventional insurance, entertainment activities that are non permissible according to Sharia. Okay, like uh nightclub uh, like a uh, gambling club ke kan so and then manufacture or sell of tobacco based product or related product uh, tobacco is also harams okay uh, from the uh, islamic uh, law okay uh, so there are mixed there are uh, opinions among the muslim scholars on smoking okay so a few half of the most majority of the Islamic scholars, they say uh, smoking, tobacco based products, eh, smoking is uh, haram, meaning that it is prohibited in Islam. Uh, but a few of them uh, say it is not haram, not prohibited, but it is not encouraged to smoke because of the effect of the smoking itself, which will give a bad effect to the health of human uh, so that is why islam do not encourage or do uh, or prohibit muslim to, to smoke okay so if you uh, see a muslim uh, smoker they actually follow the few opinions among the scholars which is uh, they permit but they do not encourage because of the effect of smoking so it is similar with a uh, liquor or what nama dia? Uh, liquor lah kan? Uh, so, because of the effect. Uh, because it will give a uh, negative effect to human being. People will become uh, unconscious when they drink alcohol. So, that is why it is not, uh, it is prohibited in Islam. Okay. So, and then stock broking or share trading in Sharia non-compliant securities in Hotel and resort. Why hotel and resort? Hotel and resort consider is mixed mixture activities because of the main purpose of hotel or resort is for accommodations. Right? Okay, but they have elements of uh, they sell alcohol at the same time. That is why we consider it is mixed activities. So if let's say a rich company they want to uh, build a hotel, the income from selling alcohol must less than twenty percent. Okay, uh, and then, okay, so Sharia committee or Sharia advisor must also be appointed to advise the fund manager on Sharia compliant matters, similar with Islamic bank. We, if the conventional one, like a May bank, they want to open May bank Islamic, they have to firm a one group of Sharia advisor to advise them for the Islamic matters, for the Islamic, Islamic law. Lah. So, Islamic rates point uh, require uh, the company to appoint a group of Sharia committee to advise them. Okay. So in terms of tax treatment in Malaysia, both rates and I rate conventional and Islamic rate receive similar tax treatment on stamp duty, real property gain tax as well as corporate tax. Okay. Uh, so basically this one uh, I think the company la, will pay. Okay. And then the regulatory framework is also similar to, for both with the exception that Islamic rate must comply with the Sharia. So, regulatory sama-sama except they have to comply with the Sharia lah, the requirement. Okay? Uh, so this is an uh, example of uh, rate structure. Okay, I uh, took it from uh, Busa Malaysia website. Okay, 
if it is unclear maybe later on you need you have to zoom lah okay I, or I give you the slide you can zoom in okay so we have the parties here we have investor here uh, this is the fund Islamic rates this one this is the property uh, okay the property that they have lah they must have a portfolio of property not only one property okay portfolio of property lease of properties okay, that involved so Sharia advisor comes to advise investment and then the investment is uh, managed by fund manager and they will also have board of, of trustee okay and then fund manager with the property manager will manage the, the properties that they have so income that they have a tenant will give income rental income okay they will rent the property will uh, give a rental income lah so the income will be uh, distributed to the investors it's very easy Okay, how to invest in IRED? Investors can buy and sell IRETs that are listed on the exchange through, uh, through their stock brokers. There are, there are four IRETs listed on Bursa Malaysia, which uh, Al Akar Healthcare Rates. This one, uh, kalau you tengok KPJ, apa namanya, this one hospital lah. Uh, hospital investment rates, uh, they build hospital branches of KPJ. And then exist rates, KLCC rate, and asylum rates. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I try to uh, search okay, Bursa Malaysia. This, uh, this is a website of Bursa Malaysia. Okay, uh, they list down Al Akar healthcare rates. These rates they concern or they do a uh, healthcare services. So the building that involved is hospital. Okay, hospital. So this is the performance of this rate this year. Nampak ni dia ada naik sikit tapi sekarang ni ada slightly uh, declining. Okay, the value dia tu. Okay, and then uh, the share of compliant and then we look at the company website eh. Okay, look at the company website. This one LRK Healthcare Rates. They actually built uh, this uh, Ampang Putri. Okay, Ampang Putri, Hospital Pakar, KPJ Tawakal. Okay, uh, for sure, uh, apa, uh, hospital is sharing our compliant lah, kan? Uh, okay, tengok ya. Our, this one portfolio dia, list of uh, properties that they invested in. Okay, uh, so portfolio dia, tengok portfolio dia. Our portfolio. Uh, locations, uh, ni. Ampang. The Lacey, asset operator, the Lacey is Ampang Putri Specialist Hospital. This hospital, uh, the, the investment uh, fund tu is uh, used to, to develop the building. So now, then the hospital rent the building from uh, fund manager ni. Al-Akar Healthcare Rates ni. Uh, so hospital pay rental. Ini bukan hospital yang punya. Okay. Uh, so tenant, tenancy. Expiry on 29 June 2021 and renewal 30 June. Ah, uh, dia dah nak expire lah ni tapi dia akan renew lah. Okay. Uh, so, these are the other ni. Dia punya portfolio ni. Semua hospital. Semua KPJ ni. Ah, uh, So, macam mana KPJ group ni they develop the hospital by collecting a fund from investors. Uh, then, they set up a rates. Equal rates lah. Real Estate Investment Trust. Investment uh, to hospital buildings. So this is example lah of uh, rates. Eh? Okay. Oh, I don't know whether you can see. Uh, okay, I I think you you cannot see the uh, the, the the website ni. Uh, okay. Uh, wait ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Ah, uh, now you can see. Ah, uh, bali. Bali. Uh, okay. So this is uh, I'll just repeat slightly lah. This is the Bursa Malaysia website. You can, you can see. Uh, list of rates. Okay. So, 
market, the real estate investment trust. Uh, so this is the performance of the uh, real estate. Uh, apa nama dia? We have this one, uh, Al Akar Healthcare Unit. Okay, Al Akar Healthcare Unit. Nampak ni, dia punya value dia. Okay. Then we look at the company website, the company that manage the rate, this type of rate, okay, Al Akar Healthcare, meaning that all the fund that they collected from the investors, they use it to develop to invest into hospital buildings. Okay, ah, ni nampak this. Okay, like I said just now, the portfolio ni, they have a portfolio meaning that list of properties that they invested. Okay, the first acquisition, the second acquisition. Ah, the first, they 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 build a KPJ Ampang Putri Specialist. Ke Ampang tu the first, okay, buildings that they build, uh, okay, uh, using the Red Investment Fund. And the second one, they build KPJ Perdana Specialist Hospital. Pak ni, ni guna Red ni. Third acquisitions, bangunan yang ketiga dia build. Damai Wellness Center and fourth acquisition they built a Kluang Utama Specialist Hospital and now they already built a sixth hospital based on rates. KPJ Batu Pahat Specialist Hospital. So we, if we invest into rate pun we are macam lega ataupun we are safe part lah because this uh, this all the hospital is private hospital so the incomes basically is a stable income lah the hospital they rent they use uh, basically they use the building by renting from the the, the fund okay um, okay let's okay. yeah. don't capture Dah ni Okay uh, So sama lah If you want to invest You get more About exist KLCC rate What are the type of Portfolio that they have You can search later on Okay So after this You can explore A website of the Bursa um, Malaysia Okay Nak ikut slide ni Okay So Banyak lagi tak Okay uh, so, uh, these are the different between Islamic rate and conventional rate. Uh, so, fundamentally, not much different between these two. Except Islamic rate, they have to invest into Sharia compliant uh, buildings, uh, activities. Okay. So, objective, administration and restructure, uh, structure of Islamic rates, very similar to the conventional one. The objective is the investment into the commercial real estate properties. So, the key difference is how the incomes from the uh, rate is derived. So, and then how the fund is being managed, types of tenants, proportions of, of rental income derived from the, from the tenant. Okay. So, rates performance in June 2, 2020. Okay. Uh, rates pun dia ada micro capital, small, uh, mid capital, ada large, ada rates. So, rate average, yang ni lah. Dia tak ada tinggi sangat tapi buat ni so, okay lah 5.8 percent dia punya return okay. okay this one conventional and islamic rates so average returns for the code these are list of conventional so in Malaysia we can see we got a lot of uh, conventional rate because it started from the conventional one and then there are four masyara index for the one there are four islamic rates okay the return average return one, the highest is 1.1. 1 .1. Ni semua kosong ni. Uh, so, conventional rates will give more return lah compared to the Islamic one. Okay. And then average risk. Risk lebih kurang sama je. This one 6%, 4%. Ni ada 8% ni. Tinggi ni. So, ada yang tinggi, ada yang rendah juga ni. Okay. So, uh, this one homework lah. You, had, you just read the two papers that I, had, that I have uh, included in the Google Classroom. Okay, with that, okay, thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and take care. Terima kasih.